Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm going to talk to you about using markers in ScreenFlow 4. Markers can be very useful when editing your videos. Basically, a marker just marks a position in your time scale. There are several different ways to add markers to your time scale. One is to hold down the control button and click in the time scale where you want a marker. Then select Add Marker. And with this pop-up window, you can name your marker if you wish to. I'm not, so I'm going to hit OK. And notice that when you don't name a marker, it shows up blue in your time scale. Now you can double click on the marker to name it. And I'll name it the beginning. And it shows up orange when you actually name the marker. Now if you want to adjust the position of this marker, all you have to do is just click on the marker and drag it around to a better spot. Now another way to add a marker to the time scale is to just move your cursor to where you want one, right click and select add marker. Then you can name it and say bad section beginning. I'm going to delete a section here in just a minute. Now, third way to add a marker is to move the scrubber to where you want. Go up here to the Mark menu, go to Markers, and select Add. Let's say this is the bad end section. And the last way to add a marker to your time scale is to move the scrubber again. And the keyboard shortcut is to press the tilde key. Press that. Let's say this is the end. All right, now you can move your scrubber in between these markers. One way to do it is to go up to Mark and Markers, then go to Next and go to Previous. I'm going to select Go to Previous, and the scrubber jumps to the previous marker. Another way to do it is to right click anywhere in the time scale and then you can select which one of the markers to jump to. Let's say I'm going to jump to the bad section beginning right there. Now if you want to manage your markers all in one place, you can use the marker window. Let's go up to window and select markers and you'll get the marker window here and it lists all the markers in your project. Now if you want to rename one of the markers, you can rename them. Just double click on the name and rename it. Bad section. You can also move the position of the scrubber. Just double click the time there and let's say I want to move this to the five second point. I can do that. And if you want to delete a marker, just select whatever marker you want to delete and hit the minus key. And if you want to add a marker, let's say I want to go back to that two seconds and add a marker there, just hit the plus and it'll add an unnamed marker and then you can go in and rename it. Beginning there. And you can delete multiple markers at once. Let's say you want to delete all the markers in one step. Just click the first one, hold down the shift key, click the last one, it'll highlight all of them and then you can click on the minus button to get rid of all of them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to jump to the bad section marker by clicking this little arrow inside the circle. The scrubber will jump to that position. Now I want to get rid of the section in between these two markers. I'm going to use ripple delete in order to do that. I'm going to move the scrubber to this position and then I'm going to mark my endpoint. Then I'm going to move the scrubber to the bad end marker. Then mark my out point. And then I'm going to use ripple delete. Click edit and ripple delete. And it will delete that section and close the gap all in one step. I do have a more extensive video on using ripple delete you can click the link here to go to that video. And I'll also put a link in the description below. 
Another thing that can be done with markers is adding chapter tracks to exported videos. Now you have to name your markers in order to do this. Say I'm going to get rid of this one here. So I got a marker. I'm going to move this to the beginning. So that would be the beginning of the video. Let's say move the scrubber here. I'm going to add a middle marker. And when you go to export your video, select File and Export. There's an option down here to add chapter tracks from markers. And you can select that and the names of those markers will be chapter tracks in your exported video. So that's using markers in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.